I'm Jamie from Jamie's Cuts and Clips, and this here is Scarlett. She's a six-year-old golden doodle, and I'm going to teach you how to groom her today. Okay, so here we are. We're getting Scarlett all wet for her bath, making sure we get all the fur everywhere all wet so when I put the shampoo on, it can really soak in and clean the, her fur and her skin. Now I'm applying some blueberry facial to her face and her muzzle. This is a great smelling shampoo specifically made for faces. Now I'm applying some aloe oatmeal shampoo and I find that this shampoo is really great for most skin types and coat types for dogs. And I like to use my hands when I apply the shampoo just to see if I can find any abnormalities, skin tags, ticks, uh, hot spots, sores, anything I need to worry about when I'm doing her grooming. And I find using my hands, I can really get down deep and make it nice and clean. All right, so I'm rinsing her off now. I'm covering her eyes so she doesn't get water and soap in her eyes. Rinsing the muzzle. Making sure I don't get any water in her mouth or up her nose. When I clean her ears, I always point the water down so the water won't go into the ear canal and cause an ear infection. So you can see I'm really doing a good job on her tail and underneath and on her feet because that's where most of the dirt is collected. If you can see the water going down the drain, it's a, it's a reddish brown color because of the clay we have here in North Carolina. Most dogs have it stuck to their feet and it's a little tricky to get off. All right, she's done. I'm squeezing out the excess water. All right, Scarlett is all bathed and she was tongue dried. Now we're gonna blow dry hair, get this hair nice and fluffy for a nice short summer cut. So I hand dry all my dogs. I find that the fur comes out much nicer and fluffier and it makes the haircut much nicer as well. I know most grooming shops kennel dry and it doesn't always um, come out the best but since I do it out of my house I do one-on-one -on -one and I have all the time to take to dry them completely. And um, I think it works out the best this way too, for me and the dog. Doing pads can be difficult. Um, you're working in a very sensitive and tight area 
and usually there are mats in between the pads. Um, so you go slow, take your time. Um, you know, you don't even have to dig in deep if you don't want to. You can just do the excess that comes out of the pad. But I like to go and get all the fur out between the pads, um, especially around here. The dogs collect so much dirt and debris in their pads. Um, but if you're not comfortable digging in like me, um, just, you know, lightly do the excess and it would work out fine. All right, now I'm going to be using my 10 blade for the sanitary cup. So this is the most sensitive part on a dog. The skin is very thin here and you need to go slow, take your time and make sure that you have a sanitized blade that does not get hot because it can lead to hot spots and burns or even nicks. To help prevent this, I use Cool Lube, which sanitizes the blades and cools them down. Always remember to clean and sanitize your blades after each use. This way it prevents spreading infections to other dogs. Now we're gonna clip Scarlet's nails. Cutting nails is the most important part of a grooming process. Always go slow, bit by bit, and you can look at the bottom, especially for black nails, to see if you're getting close to the quick. If you hit the quick, the nail will bleed. This can be very traumatizing to a dog and lead to a lifetime of difficult grooming. So always make sure you just tip it, look, and see if you're close to the quick. All right, now that that's all done, I'm going to be using my 5F and we're going to be going over her body with it for a nice clean summer cut.
I'm going to do some brushing, trim her feet, and we'll go over her body again with the five way to make it all nice and even. So after the initial shave down, I like to scissor the feet and get them all rounded and nice. And then I brush up the fur and I go over it again with my clippers. And I do this um, mostly in the inside of the legs and around the feet and the ankles, which are tricky to uh, get even because it's a very uneven surface. And then I will hand scissor um, anything that I think um, should be scissored. So now we are going to trim Scarlet's tail. We're going to get the comb through it, even it on both sides, hold at the very tip, make sure all the hairs are down, no mats, no knots. She's got a big, beautiful tail, but we're going to trim it up some. Pretty tail, all done. Good girl. All right, Scarlett's body is all done. Now we're gonna do her head, and I'm gonna use a three and three-fourths blade on her head. 
So I start in the center of her eyes and then go back and then go along the sides. I will lift up the ear, get all the excess hair there, make it nice and uniform, and then do it on the other side. And then I will go and do it again because you're always gonna get those straggly hairs. All right, now I'm gonna use my thinning shears and I'm gonna trim between her eyes. Always be careful when you're doing this. You don't wanna nick the skin. It's very easy to do. So you have to be very careful and very patient. And it helps that you have a good dog like Scarlet that could stand still. Huh, what a good girl you're being, huh? Sometimes you gotta use your fingers, lift it up a bit. Just take your time, no rush. Get all those uneven hairs, make it nice and neat in between there. A little bit more over here. All right, now I'm gonna use my comb brush all of her hair forward over her eyes. Take my scissors and we're gonna trim around her eyes. Look at that, I can see your beautiful eyes. There you are. Oh. All right, that's done. I'm gonna brush this all down and start on her beard. No mask. Good girl. All right, we're gonna use our comb again. Get all that hair. Brush down and forward where you want it for your cut. Take your scissors. And just trim however much you think should come off. What I also like to do is fluff it up right here. Show you that. Do the other side. Push that forward. Scissors again. Go to angle in the front. So you get all those little hairs by the mouth shorter where it collects all the food. Close your mouth. Up this side, trim it up. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna do a little bit forward over the mouth. All these hairs tend to get dirty when they drink water and eat their food. Even beard, huh? You keep opening your mouth. You make so hard. to use my comb in all different directions here because my hair always growing in different directions so I comb every which way I can 
try and get it as even as possible. And it's hard because they keep moving their mouths. Can you close? No, nope. both can't close. I'm gonna use my thinning shears right here. Yeah, get that yucky stuff out, huh? This yucky stuff. Good girl. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna start on her ears. Wash them out, and she was the mats. And we're gonna have our head up. Here we go. Use our comb. Feel for the bottom of the ear. I always put my fingers there, just so I know. And trim from the bottom here, however much you need to take off. And I like to give her ears a rounded look. I think it looks better on the doodles. So I'm gonna lift up her ear. And I'm gonna go at an angle and round out her ear here. And then I'm going to do that on the other side of her ear. And round that out too. Okay. And then just go over again, make sure you have nice clean lines, nice and neat, no straggly hairs. Let me see, I gotta see. So I'm just repeating what I did on the other side. Use your fingers so you know where the end of that ear is. Safety first. All right, lift that ear up, comb it out right here. Go at an angle, round it up. Make sure you get nice, clean lines. Scarlett, where are you going? You're not done yet. See that ear? Round out this side. Girl. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, let's see if they're even. Is there a comb? I think. Pretty close. I'm just going to touch up right here at the bottom of it. And again right here. <laughs> I could do this all day. Look at you. So beautiful. I'm going to use a little thinning shear on this side of the beard. I'm not liking how it's laying. So we're just going to thin it out a bit so it can lay better. Much better. Let's do a little bit on this side too. Good for blending. All right, now we're gonna clean her ears. All right, so I have my cotton pads with my ear cleaner on it. I'm gonna take her ear and just gently wipe in her ear canal. Make sure it gets clean. 
Now, you can remove the ear hair if you want. Um, for most dogs, I don't because there can be bad reactions to that with ear infections or irritation. Uh, so I only do it if specifically requested. Otherwise, I leave the ear hair alone. But I always make sure to clean the ear. All right. And this beautiful girl is all done. Look at you. Look at that sweet girl. All right, so Scarlett is all done. She looks great. This is the perfect summer cut for her doodle. And if you guys have any suggestions or would like to see something else, just comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.